Hey guys, hi Rulian here. Welcome to Delver, a dungeon runner that's freaking amazing. Uh, people have had a lot of negative comments about this game, but I left a good review on Steam, I think, and if you guys want to check that out, there will be a link in the description, and you guys can check out my review on this game. Um, I'm not going to talk much about why I like it, mainly in this video, but it's a really good game, and I definitely think you guys should read my review and buy it um, if you want to know more. So, basically, it's a dungeon runner game with a little bit of hidden lore in it and a lot of really awesome features. Um, and they've just recently updated it to include randomly generated dungeons, but before it was like handcrafted rooms randomly selected. But it's got a lot of- ooh! What luck! Fire wand! Right at the spawn, okay. So basically, this is the camp. This is where you can buy things. Um, and after going through the dungeon, you'll be able to come back here and buy more things. Uh, but you will not be able to exit after you've entered the dungeon, and there's a lot of hidden scraps of paper everywhere if you want to read those, but I'm not going to read those in this video, because otherwise it would take forever to make a video. But every episode of this that I do is going to be a single dungeon run, so however long it takes me to die or beat the dungeon um, will in fact be the whole video. So, let's go! Um, got skulls on the ground. There's a lot of useless items on the ground, but they're still kind of cool. They add to the immersion, I think, and they're really nifty. Um, we got a book here. Let's see what the book says, actually. Let's just give it a quick... Oh, I've thrown it. Let's pick it up again. Can we not read it? Okay, so you just throw it. Let's throw it at something. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, yep, there's a bat. Let's throw it at him. Die! Oh, we missed. Okay. Um, let's run back real quick here. Usually I play as a wizard in this game. Oh, a mace. Sweet. Um, usually I play as a wizard in this game, um, and, because I like to use the wands, but, whoa, there's a guy, hello, yep, you're dead, oh, he dropped arrows, okay, that'll be useful if we find a bow, um, and it's really fun to use the wands in this game, I think, because it's not super easy, but it's not super hard, did you drop a book, or was that my book, huh, I don't know, alright, um, then you can break the crates to get extra stuff too, which is really cool, um, but before, this would be like, a room that they built, and, uh, oh, I just, oh god, I've just used a potion of poison on myself. Um, and before, the it would use, like, handcrafted rooms that the developers made, but now they've added a trade generator thing, so every single time you play the game, it'll be different, and there's not that little tiny chance that you could play the same as somebody else. So it's, it's really cool. Oh, leveled up. Uh, let's see, let's do health. Since we've just activated a poison on ourselves. Uh, pillars, pillars. Oh, I see a bat. Can we get... Oh, nope. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, uh, we don't want to waste our wand charge, actually. Alright. Uh, we'll go around again, I suppose. Oh, there he is. Where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Can't die like this. Oh. Nope. Nope. There we go. Got him. Oh, he dropped another w ice wand, I think is what these are. Yep. Um, so. Let's see what else is in this dungeon. Oh, look, it's the douche painting. There's a douche painting in this- oh, a trap. They were trying to trick me by using the douche painting. They were like, oh look, it's a douche painting trap. Alright, so we'll take these bones here and we'll actually use these. What is it? It didn't- oh, yep, it is a bad trap. Um, shoot, do we have anything to heal ourselves? Yeah, there we go, that works. Uh, yeah, look, a, a douche painting. Douche, douche, whatever you prefer to pronounce it. Um, let's see. There's secret doors like this too, it's really cool. Um, ooh, I hear something. What's that? Oh, oh there's a person. Oh, you're dead. Oh, it's a spike. That's kind of cool. I didn't know those existed. What is this painting? Some guy wearing green. Okay. Usually when I talk about guys wearing green, it's Link, but nope, not today. Some random guy. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? A skull. Wait, is this... Oh, this is a broken iron short sword. I'm not going to pick that up. It's just as good as my dagger. Don't want to waste inventory space. Alright. This is just a dead end. Okay, well that's a dead end. If you wanted a game with dead ends, you've got the perfect game for you right here. Um, let's see. Oh, and this loops back to the beginning room again. Oh, that's cool. Um, we'll go this way now, I guess. Alright. Um... Ooh. Nice big room here. That's good. Oh, there's a person there. <laughs> the vo there's voice acting in this game. It's not a whole lot of voice acting. It's very minimalistic, but it's still funny. Gotcha. Oh, excellent iron short sword. That's much better than what we're using right now. 
Alright, and then we can just throw that out there. Um, oh, trap. Nearly walked right into that one. Uh, let's pick this back up, I guess. And then we can throw it on the trap. See if it's a teleport trap. Alright. Oh, crap. Yeah, don't want to step on that. Um, that's a handy little trick I learned, actually, about this game. You want to, like, throw items on, tra on the little pressure plates before you go. Because some of them, like, do good things. Like, very few of them do good things, actually. And then some of them do really bad things. Alright, ready? Go! Oh, we made it. Awesome. An apple. Is it edible? Yep, it is. Alright. Eat that. Excellent. Anything else in this room? Not really. This is really cool. I like these dungeons. Um. Who was that? Oh. We got him. Edible bread. Hey. Excellent. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. A worn iron sword. I got a better one already. Okay, so these. This will take you down to the next level of the dungeon. Um, really quickly, I'm going to grab this candle and go explore this bit over here, because there could be more epic loot over here. Like a potion, yeah. Ooh, a fine iron hammer. Yeah, the hammers are kind of overpowered in this game currently. Um, but it's still really cool. They are very slow, though, however, so... Oh! Ah, you can hit the items, apparently. I didn't even know about that. Stupid tankard. Um, tankards are just another thrown item. You can't actually drink them, so... Okay, Dungeon 2, here we go. Let's use this for a while, I guess. Could be fun. Hello? Oh, hello. Jeez, this thing does tons of damage. Oh, wizard. Gotcha. Oh, alright, let's see. This time we will do... Health again. Okay. I know you're never really supposed to do that, but I'll just do it anyway. Oh, let's see. Wand. I like using the wands. Uh, hammer. Hammer time! Hammer time! Yep, nothing in there. Alright. Next place. Alright, so what's behind this door? Door number one has nothing but a hallway. Um, oh, here's someone. Oh, hello! He dropped a buckler. Now, these are like shields? Um, nope, oh, crap, I heard someone. Oh, you can't shoot through the hole! Back off! Oh man, these guys are powerful. Okay, gonna have to switch to my other wand now. Um, switch that up there. Excellent. Two. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the bucklers. Um, basically, the bucklers are shields. And, uh, you can use them, but you get minus one speed. And I don't prefer to lose the speed. Ooh! Amulet of Protection. We'll wear that, even though it's broken. It's still one AC, which is awesome. Um, gotcha. Ooh, he dropped a blue potion. I've never ate those before. I don't know, ate or drank. I've never drank a blue potion before. It makes more sense, I guess. Um, let's see. Next area. Skull. The bodies do this weird thing. I'm not sure if I like it very much, but they like lay on their sides and like clip through the ground a bit. It's kind of weird. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's like a thing, but either way, I'm not a huge fan of it. Oh, I blocked it. Oh, we got him. Okay. Let's see. Anything cool that they dropped? Nope. What is this? I've never seen one of these before. It looks like a crypt or something, but I can't open it. Did we just head off in a whole nother direction? Or Oh yeah, we did go down a floor. Excellent. Um... Okay, let's see what's over here. Oh, we have our candle as well. We should put that on our hot bar. Rest restoration is blue, okay. Alright, and then we'll have our wand at the Rennie. Oh, look, more food. Hello? Oh, hi! Yeah. Okay, that works, even though I didn't mean to do that. A note! What does it say? Oh, it's drawn! Something, something! Holy crap, it's like two pages long? No way. Look! There's a lot of hidden lore, and I usually read it if I'm not recording, but I can't waste the time to do that in a recording. Plus, it's boring. Useless book. I don't know what that was. Oh, hi. Oh, okay. Um, attack. Maybe we should do speed, actually. Now, nah, let's do attack. I heard somebody else as well. Okay, let's drop. Oh, there's a zombie there. Ugh. He dropped an excellent leather armor. Let's switch that out, actually. There we go. Um, and then we'll throw the buckler on there. 
Oh, it's a teleporter one. Maybe we should use it. Let's look around, then we'll come back. Uh, let's see. What else is here? Hello? Oh, a door. Behind door number one. Another hammer. Holy crap! Let's get rid of this hammer. Okay. And then we'll use this guy. Is this the one that I just picked up? Yep, this is. Holy crap. This is like Thor's hammer, practically. Um... I don't know anything about Thor, by the way, so if I get anything wrong, I apologize. Hello! Holy crap! I just wrecked that guy. Hardcore. Um, there's books on the floor here. Lots of them, actually. Oh, look at all the potions and a lantern! Oh, crap. Poison. Um, four. Yeah, that's- oh, god. Don't- oh god, this is- this could be the end. This could be the end. Alright, we gotta wait for him to come around the corner get him. Hello? Oh, oh, yep, he's not moving. Um, we need to do something now. Iron skin. Restoration. Excellent. Stop moving! I can't hit you with my hammer. Oh, got him. Oh, another one. Oh, ooh, ring of protection. Protection. I mean, protection. Protection. Whatever you want to... However you pronounce things pronounce them however you want. I don't care. Um, blue potion. Excellent. We do not want to drink that, I don't think. I can't remember for sure what it is, but I'm not gonna drink it unless if I desperately need something. And that'll probably be the end of me, but we'll just go with it, I guess. More books. Bread. Excellent. There is something on the other side of this wall. If we go this way, there's a door. I guess we might as well break these crates, too. Ooh. That could be worth it, actually. Shall we use it? It doesn't appear to be actually there. Yeah, we can't use it because we're using a two-handed weapon. Oh, slime! Yeah, there's a lot of enemies in this game as well. Oh, love. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a restoration. I forgot. Oh, gosh. Oh, crap! This is nearly the end. Oh, and that is it. All right. Well, anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Delver. Um, you guys should really check out this game. There's a link to my review in the description below if you want to learn more about it. Um, and, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode of Delver, guys. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.